There was a massive protest march that was carried out against the controversial farm laws that have been brought in India. And according to reports, at least about 13 people have been arrested for flouting COVID-19 guidelines at the protest in front of the Indian High Commission's office. Now, according to estimates, about 4,000 people gathered outside the Indian High Commission's office and demanded that these controversial farm laws be immediately struck down. Well, there was high security that had been provided at the time of the protest march. The Indian government had, of course, requested that permission should not be granted for this protest march to be given. But Britain, of course, in the past as well, has gone ahead and said that democratic protests cannot be struck down and allowed the protesters to gather in front of the Indian High Commission's office. However, there were claims that quite a few of the individuals who had turned up were also seen carrying the Khalistani flags. Under the COVID-19 pandemic guidelines, an assembly of only about 30 protesters was permitted. Around 700 vehicles participated in a rally, even though permission had been sought for just about 40. People had reportedly sought permission from authorities to protest against the controversial farm laws in India. However, people carrying Khalistani flags to the protest has, of course, erased fears by the Indian establishment that there could be the possibility of an anti-India motive behind this move where certain Khalistani elements are trying to ride the wave of these protests against the controversial farm laws in India. The political press and information minister at the Indian High Commission in London, Mr. Vishwesh Negi, had earlier spoken with Vion's correspondent about the situation. He had said, and I quote him here, as expected, it soon became pretty apparent that the gathering was led by anti-India separatists who had taken the opportunity of the farm protests in India to pursue their own anti-India agenda. This is what the Indian representative in London is saying. The protest against farm bills in India is a part of a democratic process, and needless to say that it is an internal issue of India. Now, this is the first such demonstration this year. Two major protests had also been held in the aftermath of the deoperationalization of Article 370 and also after the very controversial Citizenship Amendment Act had been passed by the Indian Parliament. Most of the protesters at that time was claimed by the Indian government were from the Pakistani diaspora and many of them also threw eggs and rotten tomatoes at the Indian High Commission's office and also reportedly vandalized the infrastructure at the Indian Mission in London.